Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another VTM price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the VTM chart which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up to our next key area of resistance at around the 0 0.02436 mark and a break above that key area of resistance then I'll be watching for a successful retest before we can continue gearing up and continue unlocking even higher prices we have also continued to obey the editor structures where we had been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that managed to get into the minimum retracement area which lies between the $0.0239 mark and the $0.01923 mark in a move that gave us a low at around the $0.01952 mark and having managed to get into the minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 I now believe that we have bottomed out in the formation of that wave 2 and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive run up to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and all this is playing out after we fully picked in the formation of a larger area Edu wave count one and that was after seeing a five wave structure of this Edu wave structure right here in red having the wave five giving us a peak at around the 0.03298 dollar mark and also completing the formation of that first wave to the upper side and before I get further into the technical analysis to give you the short term scenarios and also sketch out my target areas to the upper side in the formation of that wave three first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first sketch out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that now gives me a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0 0.0476 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting VChain to do here in the formation of this wave 3 and in the formation of this wave 3 which is also an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave 3 having the wave 5 fully maximizing our target areas and also giving us the high for that larger edu wave count 3 to the upper side and that is what I'm expecting to play out here on the long term scenarios and it is this micro edu wave count within the formation of this larger edu wave count 3 that is going to give me the short term scenarios and I believe that is better seen here on the 1 hour chart so jumping to the 1 hour chart for further analysis and to give you the short term scenarios here on the 1 hour chart you can see that after after seeing our low in the formation of these larger ADO 12 count 2 within this blue target area we started this massive run up to the upper side obeying the ADO 12 structures where you can see that I have these uh, ADO 12 structure in red having the wave 5 giving us a peak at around the 0 0.02534 dollar mark and also completing the formation of these larger ADO 12 count 1 to the upper side and after seeing the high for that first wave whatever we expected next was a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave 1 I was able to come up with a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.78 which is a target area that lies between the 0 0.02237 dollar mark and the 0 0.02 six eight dollar mark and it is within this blue target area down here that I was expecting to see the low for this second wave and you can see that we have continued to hold within this blue target area and, and also seen a breakdown in a move that has now given us a low at around the 0 0.02145 dollar mark and there are high chances that that is now the low for that second wave and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive run up to the upper side in the formation of this larger ADO wave country to the upper side and by first giving you a measure from this low that we made down here to the current prices you can see that the market is up by more than 5.47 percent which is a very nice bounce to the upper side and if this is the start of this wave 3 to the upper side we can be able to sketch out target areas to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave 1 
then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that now gives me a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.03105 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting VeChain to do here on the short term scenarios so there are high chances that in case we continue gearing up see a break above our key area of resistance at around the 0.02436 dollar mark see a successful retest and continue gearing up we are going to see a 0.03 v chain very soon and for us to also get a confirmation that we are back in the formation of these wave 3 we need to manage to break above that key area of resistance and also get a high that is above the high that we made at around the 0.02534 dollar mark and the moment we manage to break above that wave 1 high that is the high for this larger ADO wave count 1 then that will be enough confirmation that we are back to the formation of these higher ADO wave count 3 to the upper side so that is what I'm expecting here on the VeChain chart and those are my target areas to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 and also getting back to the 4 hour chart to take a look at the indicators here on the RSI we are trading at around the 53 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices also taking a look at the MACD we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices in the formation of that wave 3 so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.